Hello everybody, it's GB. Welcome back. I am finally upgrading um, my mic setup. I say finally only because I've like had these in my house for a long time and I keep putting off this video. I did not need a mic upgrade. However, it was thrust upon me. So here we are. Um, long story short, my current mic situation is I've been using the AKG C314s. To keep you up to date, my current sound situation is I started filming with a Blue Yeti, tried and true. We love the Blue Yeti. Um, super affordable, easy to use USB mic. Um, couple of downsides to them. I found that they break easily and the sound quality isn't quite as good um, as some of the mics I have like graduated up to. It just requires a lot more equipment and space and things. So I've always said that the Blue Yeti is like fantastic for that price. You literally can't beat it. Unless... We'll get to that later. Um, so then my second favorite was I was using a pair of Rhodes. I cannot remember the model name off the top of my head. Let me grab it for you. The Rode NT1s. Yes, these were my bread and butter. I love them. I use them because a couple of my favorite ASMR artists use them. And I was like, I love how their videos sound. I have a very like deep voice. If you don't know from Scottish Murmurs impersonations of me. Um, so I really liked these. I loved how they sounded. But dear God, I think I went through about seven of these. They're not cheap and they just, they kept breaking on me. Usually I would say this is my fault. I did nothing to them. I like breathed on them funny and they would break. So I was sick of this. I would constantly ruin my videos when I didn't know if a mic was suddenly going out. Vess and I had a lot of trouble with them. So I was giving up. Then, AKG sent me a little email and they said, hey, can we send you some mics? I was like, you know what? Absolutely. Because my seventh row just died and I'm struggling. So they sent me the a pair um, of the AKG C314s. Love at first sight. Okay. I noticed, and I will say, if you are here with like a really technical sound background, run, run, please go. Um, I know the very basics. I know what I like to hear in my headphones. I know what I like for ASMR, which is not super duper overproduced sound. I want to be able to hear the sounds that I'm making. I like my mics to be better than my ears. And the AKGs is really the C314s anyway, really fit my voice. I've really been loving them. And I am on the same two. That same pair they sent me has made it through multiple moves. They have not broken. They are sturdy, tried, and true. And I love them. So, I was using an Audio-Technica... What was this one? I was using an Audio-Technica um, 2050 for my streaming mic. I didn't love it for ASMR, um, but I did really like the AKGs for ASMR and regular streaming when I was screaming and all that jazz. And so I ended up taking one of my C314s and putting it here and then one of them in my stream room. However, these guys really function as a pair. They're very lonely without one another. So every time I want to use two microphones, I have to go upstairs and undo it and bring it downstairs and do all this stuff. So I was like, hey, AKG, would you mind um, sending me another C314? So I can use that for the stream room and then I'll have this down here. And they said, you know, we don't have those right now. But we will send you, we will send you the C414s. And I was like, okay, I don't know if I need a license for these, but all right, if you're sending them, I will try them. I also have the 3DO FS Pro 2. This makes me very angry. That's 
okay. It's just not my cup of tea. It's because my voice is so deep. It makes me... I hate it. It's fine. Okay. So... AKG very graciously did gift these to me. I was not required to make content with them. Um, I don't believe I have any sort of link or code with them. I will ask if I get one. It will pop up now. If I don't, it'll just be like a little frowny face, I guess. Um, but obviously I knew I was going to make content with them. Hopefully these will be my new ASMR mics and we can give them a go. This is just going to be a video testing them out. I'm not going to compare them specifically to any other mics yet um, because Vest, my editor, is planning a trip to come visit me and we do plan on shooting a video where we like swap out different microphones and do different audio tests and stuff which would be much easier with someone here to help me like wrangle it make sure things are sounding good like while I'm recording so I don't film a bunch of stuff and it ends up being unusable. So today I was like, let's not push it, but I will be recording like the channel's tried and true triggers, favorites, and like sound test essentially to test these little bad boys out. So I took them out of the case. It came in a really nice case with foam and padding. Great for travel. We have one of them here like a newborn child. No, don't hold a newborn like this. There we go. Get a little look there. And moving all my mics out of the way. A lot of sound going on in this room right now for someone who knows very little about sound. Uh, these are a multi-pattern condenser microphone, very similar to the C314, just with a bit of upgrades and little parts there. And okay, so for instance, you can choose the like the sound pattern, the pickup pattern. And for ASMR, I'm usually on cardioid, which would be the little one. Mm-hmm. The middle one. Um I also see the wide cardioid on this one, which is new for me. But usually, if I'm shooting ASMR, it's just me in the room. I'm not doing anything crazy. I almost always have it on cardioid. So this on the back here is either the pre-attenuation pad or the passive attenuation pad. I've heard both. Um, I don't really need these. This is when you're like being super loud, like putting in a lot of input into the microphone. You can pat it a little bit. And then over here, which I'm actually kind of curious about, I'm not sure if it will kind of mess with the tones of ASMR, but this is the bass cut filter. May or may not be able to help me with things like air conditioning, airplanes, dare I say. Um, so we might give that a little go. Of course, it's dead silent in my house tonight. That's fine. I will be using the foam windscreen filter on both of these. We'll try it without. We'll try it with. I usually shoot with. Maybe if you're like brushing the mic and you want that like metal sound, we can try a little bit of both. And then, after we test those, um, AKG also sent me their USB mic, the ARA, the ADA. Um, this is a dual pattern USB microphone, perfect for podcasts, video gaming, music, oh, video, comma, gaming, comma, and music. Um, very curious to see what this sounds like, if this is a, another really good, affordable option, um, easy to use option for people who are just starting out, don't want to use their phone mic, want something a little more, I'm going to test it for you. We're going to give it the old ASMR one, two. Okay. And it looks like it records front or front back. 
I am interested to see if front back would almost work as it seems like the front is cardioid and the back is in like more of an omni pattern big circle so I'm not sure if it would have like the blue yeti equivalent of like the the interlocking rings which we all know and love um, but we're gonna see how it sounds because I'm very curious it just plugs right in I just wanted to say thank you again to AKG for sending me these microphones. Once again, these were gifted to me, so I did not purchase them with my own money. I will be very truthful about them. I'm going to try to plug my headphones into my mixer so I can like hear real time. Otherwise, I'll just be guessing and then I'll hear it after I record. Um, but yeah, I've really genuinely enjoyed my C314s. So let's see how the other mics hold up. We are back. Do you hear that? Is that picking it up? Oh, I have to change the settings. Here we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Wait a minute. Does it take a second for it to change settings? Hello. Hello. That was a more aggressive whisper. That's why that sounded different. Okay. I wish I could say that the intro and this clip were not filmed hours apart, but they were not because I also got a new mixer. Big fan, but I'm still learning and had a little bit of troubleshooting. I am using the Zoom LiveTrack L8. We have our new AKG C414 XLS pair. Let's do some ASMR. So obviously the first test would be just to soft speak. Um, I actually haven't listened back on myself in a long time. I am using my Sennheiser headphones for optimal quality. I don't know if these are supposed to be good for monitoring, but gosh darn, they are just so nice and comfy that I'm going to use them. Um, we should try some whispering. So this would be me whispering from the middle of the microphones. I'm not favoring either side. And to be honest, I'm not particularly close at all. A little bit closer. Okay. It, it the good thing is that I'm not hearing a huge difference from this distance distance. There is a difference, but it's less dramatic. Something dramatic just happened out there. I don't know what's going on over there, but I do like the sound of the, like the travel, maybe. And I really don't mind. Sometimes I feel like I have to get quite close. We have it on the cardioid setting. Not wide, not super, just regular. 
Should we go back to soft speaking? Ooh. Oh. I'm impressed so far. I really like these. Okay. These, this is my new favorite trigger. I bought it from the art store. Fake groups.
I feel like maybe if I soft speak and soft speaking is like a little more on the volume level of this trigger I guess that's where I feel like I sometimes struggle when I'm making ASMR content it's like when I whisper I need my triggers to be really soft because I'm nervous it's gonna be too loud I also got Mr. Sponge Mm, that's lovely.
let me ask you a few questions. Okay, number one, what is your name? Okay. Alright, how many otters are living with you right now? Okay, now do you feed them chocolate or vanilla cake? Interesting choice. What's your birthstone? Mm. Okay. About, give or take, you can round up to the nearest hundred. How many times have you blinked this week? circumstances, I unfortunately will have to deny you this loan. I think it's kind of obvious why. Um, however, I would be ecstatic to give you my card and contact you in the future. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. these two? Sure. You get them? Yeah. Very nice. You look great. <sighs> oh, I love those green sound. Alright, sorry. I'm just being silly now, so. I think this was a good test. Let me know what you thought. Do you notice a difference at all? Did you like it? Perhaps. I was going to film a couple more videos tonight. I'll probably use these. I think I really like them. I'm liking what I'm hearing. So, hopefully you do too. Um, I've used many mics in my content over the years. Um, so I'm always curious, like, what, what you like to hear. 3DO, definitely my least favorite. So far, these are looking pretty good. Glue Yeti, solid, tried but true. Not always true. Breaks on me a lot, actually. Um, but yeah, that's it for my test. Do a little finger fluttering. And then, before we end the whole video. I'm going to do the same sounds, just a little faster paced, um, on the ARA, the plug-in USB mic, so I, <laughs> so I will see you there. Welcome to the second test. Okay. Um, it's a little, it's a little loud, and I'm wondering if this will bleed at all. I have the headphone, I guess I could turn the headphone volume down a little. And then the, you press to mute. Okay. So, I have got the ARA out of its box. 
I took it off of its stand and put it onto one of my mic stands. I'm going to show you it. It's going to make a lot of noise, so we'll just... Speaking of, already I hear a lot more white noise than I'm used to, um, which is to be expected. This is about a 10 times price difference, I think a little bit more. This is, this retails for $99, and the C414s I think are $1,100 each. So I, I do feel like in like the grand scheme of things, especially if you're making YouTube content, even ASMR, like having a good microphone like doesn't make or break your channel kind of like up to your preferences, your budget, what you like to use, what you like to work with, what you like your videos to sound like. I kind of, I'm really enjoying the soft-spoken. The background noise is definitely a bit much for me, but it's just more, I'm not used to it. I think when I watch other people's videos, I don't mind it at all. Um, so this is very plug in and go. First impression is that it's lightweight. It's like a big microphone technically, but it's light, much, much, much lighter in weight than the Blue Yeti. I'm curious actually what the difference in weight is. Um, so it has two dials. The You can do the front microphone or front and back. And so if you were like doing a podcast or something, you would only need one mic and someone else can sit on across from you and speak into the back of the microphone. We have the headphone volume knob. You can press that in to mute yourself. And that's it. When you plug it into, I have it plugged into my Mac here. Um, I went into settings, system preferences, set the input volume from there. I maxed it out. So you're hearing it as absolutely maxed out as loud as you could get it if you were to plug this into a Mac. Um, and that's it. Let's do a little bit of whispering so this doesn't come with any sort of foam windscreen, but there is a metal covering around it, and I believe I can see foam, like a foam layer right underneath, so that might work, um, without you having to buy an extra something. And I really, I like the aesthetics of it a lot, that's for sure. Something I also immediately noticed, same thing with the Yeti. If you're creating content with this, you have to be so careful not to... <laughs> you have to be so careful not to hit any cords. So there's the USB, like the USB like power cord. And then I have the headphone cord in. And if you hit the cords, sad, very sad um, for my ears. So that's something that always bothers me when I'm trying to like move around and I accidentally hit the mic. <gasps> um, so I'd have to figure out probably a better solution. I think maybe if I threaded the wire behind the mic and set my laptop behind, that would help me a lot. So you just have to be a little cautious and careful about where you're setting things. But other than that, the footprint of this mic is a lot smaller. You need something to record it into. I believe you can put it in your phone even. Um, and you need something to put the microphone on. So whether you want to use a mic stand or you want to use a table and put the microphone on the table. You just have to be careful not to bump the table. Um, obviously, a lot less like is necessary to make this work, make it function. You're going. For the 414s, I have the mics itself, the little stands they go in, the two microphone stands that take up a lot of space, two XLR cables that go into my mixer, and the mixer is pretty hefty, so that takes up a decent amount of space. A lot of like moving parts to travel with. Um, so this was made more for convenience, I would say, for sure. Look how slim. I'm like, I am used to the Blue Yeti where it's like, I actually have one over there I could grab it for you. 
let me show you the size difference here. So if you put the Yeti in its stand, this is like the shock mount that you can buy for it. You don't have to use this. Here is the size difference. The Yeti is just like a lot thicker, a lot thicker, um, taller. The microphone's in the front. I'm not a tech channel for a reason, I think. Don't ask me to ever do tech reviews, ever. But, she's chunky. That would I, I would say that's, first of all, that's the main draw, I think, for me for this one. Yeti, I really like that you can pick the pattern on the back. I think that is huge for ASMR, being able to pick the pattern. And adjust the gain as well. But, um, let's do some triggers. Let's see how it sounds. First we have the grapes. brushing. I would definitely want a foam cover for brushing. similar to the soft speaking. I do like kind of like the lower sounds on this. Then we would have crinkles. Mm-hmm. 
book length and the writing. I'll do the writing first just because it's on top. That little couple of thoughts. One, I'm curious because we're using Apple earbuds because I couldn't plug in my Sennheiser headphones um, with this mic. If I could have sourced better headphones, I'm not sure if like my listen back is, ac is totally accurate maybe to what you're hearing. I would say my honest opinion is I would not choose this mic over a Blue Yeti for ASMR. I do like that this one is much lighter and like even more simple than the Yeti. It's like less hard to mess up. I've gifted some of my friends Yetis before that don't do ASMR. They're like gamers. You know, they're like trying to like, like when Among Us was big and they were like playing and they didn't have a microphone and I was like, hey, like I would love to send you a blue Yeti if you want to try it. And they had a lot of trouble using it. Um, so I think maybe this one is a little bit more simple in a good way, more user-friendly. You're not going to mess it up as much. You can talk in here. Three buttons. You know, so that, I would say, is actually a plus. Easier to travel with. Takes up less space and heaviness on your desk. Um, so I see why they're marketing this as a, like, podcasting, gaming, that kind of stuff. Microphone. I'm not sure that this was made with like ASMR content creation in mind. I think the Blue Yeti like accidentally did that to be honest with you. And that's why I became like a cult favorite for a reason. But that's my take. I am very interested to go back and listen to what we've captured today. I am extremely pleased with the C414s. Um, again, it is, it's hard to compare these two. The difference in quality is, is clear. They're not made for the same purpose, but it is always fun to test out both and really hear the difference. Um, so yeah, I think I will definitely be using the C414s going on um, moving forward with videos. So hopefully you guys like how they sound and let me know what you think. All right, everybody, that is it for me. I accidentally made this video a You're still here, right? You're still here. Good night, guys. See you in the next.